the Big Apple New York. Here we come. How's it going, boys? We're nearly there. Right now, we're passing a tiny little island near Bermuda. Huh? The Bermuda Triangle? Hope we don't disappear. Ah! Oh, what was that? Just a thunderstorm. But I better get back to the controls. Buckle up, boys, all right? Look at the lightning! It's pink! <laughs> you watch too many movies, Obaid. It was only a storm. But, Dad, I can't get any service on my phone at all. Why don't you boys try up there? There may be a signal. Try that, and I'll look at the engine. But listen, don't go too far. Okay, Dad. See you later. Come on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> let's. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Guys, guys. Huh? Over here! Look there! Huh? They look like pirates! <laughs> no way! You guys, don't be silly! It's a movie shoot! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our quest is almost at an end, my friend. <laughs> and cut! Huh? 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 Mm -hmm. Hold uh -huh. on. They're only boys. Who are you? Um, I'm Mansoor, and these are my friends, Obaid and Salem. Are you shooting a movie? Movie? What is this movie? You know, a movie like this. Mm hmm? Look there. I'm making some action. Oh. <laughs> what is this? The boy has trapped little people inside of this little box thingy. What's with these guys? Hey, Jabal, secure the boat. My name is Sinbad. Sinbad? You mean just like Sinbad the sailor? Sailor, adventurer, hero at your service. Mm. Hmm? What's going on? I'm so confused right now. That guy's crazy. Maybe not. Think about it. The storm, my phone acting all weird and stuff, and these guys over here don't even know what a movie is. You mean the Bermuda Triangle? I think you were actually right about everything, Obaid. That storm was a time portal. <clears throat> Forgive me, but time is not my friend. You see, we have sailed the seven seas far and wide to reach this far off place. My princess fails even as we speak. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia of Baghdad. She has been poisoned by the evil Sultan Kader. And Kader wishes to claim her throne, and I must save her now. The only thing that can save the princess from her fate is the star of Nashira, a tiny flower that grows only here on this island. A flower? That sounds easy enough. I wish that were true, my young fellow. But the flower grows at the top of a giant tree in the Valley of Scorpions. Scorpions? Well, at least it isn't snakes. Snakes, too. Many snakes to be, in fact. But now we must go. Ready, Jabal? Wait up, Sinbad. Maybe we can help. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I believe these tunnels right here will lead us to the giant tree. Uh, I don't really like this. It looks dangerous. Oh, it is. So touch nothing. 
The men who built this place filled it with many traps to prevent anyone from entering. <laughs> Follow me, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Stop! Is something wrong? Yes, I think I see something. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. <clears throat> I knew it, just as I thought. The traps that were put in place are still working. What do we do now? We make shield. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Salem! You look like a real warrior with that shield you made. Jabal! Go and make some more for the rest of us. Oh, man! I didn't sign up for this! We'll be fine, Salem. Look, it's working! Wait up! Oh, 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 help me! Help me! Obaid, oh, whatever you do, do not look uh. down! Huh? Snakes! Oh, man! I hate snakes! <laughs> oh, Obaid, let go of your granola bar! Never! Obaid, the snakes! Obaid. We're here. Behold, the Star of Nashira. Oh. Hold on. Do you really think this will hold no, us? No, don't do it. Oh. Oh. All to, is lost. Oh, to have come so far and to then fail. The fate of my princess is sealed now. Hmm. Not so fast. I've got an idea. Huh? What is that thing? Meet my friend Nano. He's going to save the princess. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Greetings there, Mentor. Hey, Nano. Got a little job for you. That is absolutely incredible! That's Nano! I owe you a great debt, Mansoor. And all of you, you will be heroes. And many stories will be told of you, I promise. Mansoor, look! The huh? storm! Oh. oh! The time portal! We have to leave now! Take this as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Master! Huh? Uh -huh. Dad! <laughs> Good luck, Sinbad! We're about 20 minutes away from New York. Funny thing is, we're somehow eight hours behind schedule now. It's probably something about the Bermuda Triangle. 
I think you're right, Obaid. I think you're right. This week's experiment is all about energy efficiency. Your task is to suspend a member of your team in midair. That's easy. But without using an engine or a motor. Hmm, not so easy. Get into teams, and then you can start your experiments outside. Please help yourselves to anything that you think may help you obtain your scientific goal. We could take the string and wrap it around two chairs. And then maybe have two of us sit on the chairs and one of us lies on the string. I think that might work out, you guys. <laughs> well, that's huh? a good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Huh? That's not fair. Don't worry, Obeyed. None of this stuff is very useful. I've got some better things at home. What about these? Huh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, they could support someone, I suppose. We might as well try. Okay, Obeyed, get on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be suspending him, not sinking him. Help me! I can't get up! <laughs> you may continue working on it at home, but you must show your findings to the class tomorrow. Come on, let's go back to my house. I've got my tools there, and we can get this work done properly. I'm sure of it. I'm going to pick Sarah up from a party. See you boys later. So how are we going to solve this science experiment thing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Water! No thanks, I've got some juice. No, we could use water pressure to suspend you. How's that gonna support him? I've got a plan. Okay, this highly pressurized water squirter should do the trick. It's full of water and ready to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It needs more pressure. Uh -huh. Hold on, Obey. Uh -huh. Oh, it's working. Okay, Obeyed, we'll think of something. <gasps> We're hey back. Hmm. That's it! Whoa! Uh, I don't really think one balloon is going to hold me up. You're right. One won't do it, but lots of them will definitely do the job. <laughs> don't worry, Obeyed. What could possibly go wrong? Ha <laughs> 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 
After calculating all the data, we know we need exactly 48 balloons to suspend Obeyed in midair. Hmm. How many balloons have you blown up, Obeyed? Nearly 200. What? Uh. Wait up! We only need 48 of them! Stay in the garage! What? What are we going to do? We need to burst three quarters of those balloons. But how? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. <gasps> Nano can fly up and burst them. Nano? Uh. But how? There's nothing sharp on him. Quickly, find something sharp. Uh. Oh! I think that'll do it. Any of you have solved this scientific riddle. We'll start with T-Rex team. Lo and behold, watch the string support my weight. 
Oh, 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 oh. Nice try, Tarek. Mansoor, has your team been successful? Ha! <laughs> This'll never work. What a joke. Through careful scientific research, we calculated exactly how many balloons were needed to suspend obeyed. <gasps> and we also discovered that if you quadruple the number of balloons attached, it's possible to float really high, even higher than planes. <laughs> A funny joke, Obeyed. No, I'm not joking, sir. Huh? He's joking, right? No, he's not. Oh! <laughs> uh. Congratulations to Mansour's team for successfully solving the challenge. That's what you think, you villain. You, you, um, what was my line again? Cut! Someone get on my script! You know, they say this movie is actually based on a true story. <laughs> a true story where they were caught by a superhero? <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Okay, well, maybe not that part, but the jailbreak part of it is a true story and they happen to be filming it in the exact location that the escape took place in. It's true. The prisoners are supposed to have escaped from a prison just beyond those hills using the intricate tunnel system in the caves below. Look! He dropped the script. Huh? This is my one and only chance to meet my favorite superhero of all time. Come on! Yes? Huh? Hello, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh... Uh, we just wanted to give you... <laughs> it's uh, no bother at all. Uh, I'm always happy to meet my fans. Huh? You know, I uh, was exactly <laughs> like you once. I was all starry-eyed and full of hero worship. But that alone wasn't enough to turn me into the world's biggest action hero today. You know what I was? What? I was brave. That's how I attained uh, all of this fame. Because uh, bravery can never be acted. If you're not brave in person, you can never portray it convincingly on screen. So, I now have a question for you, my young friend. How brave are you? Um, I'm sorry about that, my young friend. I was just uh, shaken a little by the fall. Now, let's find a way out of this place as fast as we can. Okay, I'm not worried. After all, I'm with the world's bravest action superhero. Just lead the way. You're right. Follow me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ah! Huh? 
Help! Help me, please! Please, please don't let me fall. Help me. I have a wife back home and a family. Help me. Um, uh, look, would you just help me up? Oh, of course. Yes, hold on. Hey, there's a ledge under you. But I'll never make it. Uh, but it's right beneath you? Uh, no, it's too far. Would you just help uh, me get up, please? All right, just swing up towards me. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, my friend, Mansoor. Hello, Mansoor. Uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, mm. uh, uh. <laughs> well, the truth is, I'm not sure I can take much more of this. Don't you worry. I just spoke to Mansoor. He's going to help guide us out of here. And besides, I don't think anything worse than this will happen to us. Right? Huh? Uh? 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 <laughs> The only thing you had to do was take care of the key. I planned out our escape from prison. I got the pickaxe and smuggled into prison. The only thing you were supposed to do is take care of the key. And yet you lost it. Uh, don't you know how to start a car without the key? I'm a criminal mastermind. I'm not a car thief. I don't know how to start cars without a key. Huh? 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 Uh. Uh. Look! The car keys! Huh? Get oh! <laughs> Okay, now we really need to get out of here. You're the great action hero. You have any ideas? Yeah, we head for the exit. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh. Huh? Okay, mm -hmm. but which one should we take? Stop! Uh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Someone help us! <laughs> Hello? Mansoor, help us! Oh, it sounds like there are some criminals that have broken out of jail exactly the same way as in the story. And the same way that Ahmed Hamdan is portraying in the movie. Exactly, that's right. So how did it end the first time? You're Ahmed Hamdan's assistant. How were the prisoners captured the first time they escaped? I think it was something to do with underground caves and a GPS. Um, it was something like that, wasn't it? Well, I could tell you. But then I'd ruin the ending of the movie. Are you sure you want to know what happens at the end? Yes! Oh, I just remembered something. I've signed a secrecy clause. I can't reveal the storyline. Obeyed. We're not getting any help out here. Go ask Ahmed Hamdan. I don't think I'm going to get any help from him either, Mansoor. I'm sending you the exit location as a pin to your phone now. Just work your way towards it and then we'll call the police, okay? Well, Mansoor, that may not be as easy as it sounds. Oh dear, no. I think I know exactly what's happening here. Look, I'm sorry, but there's something you have to know. What? Uh, well, the truth is, I'm not sure how to say it, but Ahmad isn't as brave as you think. You don't say. There's only one thing to be done whenever he gets like this. What's that? Give him his cape. Oh, give him his cape? That's right. It's part of his costume. He changes whenever he has it on. That's great and all. But how am I going to get his cape down hey. here, huh? Someone order a superhero cape? Mm. Ha! Ah. <laughs> This is the last time I break out of jail with you! Aw, oh, don't be like that. We'll find the car keys. All we need to do now is... Uh, huh? uh, stop! What was that? What's what? Where? <gasps> Forget the keys. Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere! Run! <laughs> ha! <laughs> He's everywhere! 
This way! Here we are! We need to go back inside! Hurry! Hurry! It's him! Or the police! No! No! Keep him away from us! We give up! We give up! Keep him away from us! We give up! That was extremely brave of you, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. They were dangerous criminals. Lots of people would have been scared to confront them. Ha! <laughs> well, fear doesn't ever scare me, officer. Courage is my middle name. I certainly have what it takes, and I also, uh... I had a lot of help from these boys here. I couldn't have done it without them. Well, good job, boys. You'll get a special mention in my report. I can just see the headlines tomorrow. Prison breakers! Caught by the world's best superhero. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Till we get to Jeddah. I want to finally check out the Red Sea and find some really incredible giant sea turtles out there. Giant sea turtles? Yes, giant sea turtles. They're huge, you'll see. Sorry, but there's no such thing. Yes, yes there is. Look, it's here on the internet. The internet isn't always right, <laughs> especially not a site called monstersofthedeep.com. There. Voice recognition and mimic applications have now been installed. Um, in simple terms. Okay, Nano can now hear voice levels and patterns, learn them, and then mimic them. Oh! I still don't get it. Watch! Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? Just wait for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be impressed. Yaraba! Oh. Yaraba! Mm -hmm. Yaraba! Huh? Awesome! That sounded <laughs> just like me! Paris Awad? Yeah, you're right. I'm impressed. How did you do it? Did that drone oh. just copy my voice? Yes, this is a smart drone. It can learn the way you speak and then have an entire conversation in your voice. Isn't that so cool? Where can I get one? Mm, well, you can't. I built this one. Oh, that's too bad. I could sure use the help of that drone. I haven't had a break in ages. Now I'm off to commentate on the Beach World Cup, so that drone could come in handy. Really? Yeah. I think we might be able to help you. We're heading there ourselves. You know, I think we have a good chance of winning this year. The home advantage will help a lot. You bet. We'll be huh? on our way to the game and be helping out the commentator there. A commentator? How will you do that? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, obeyed? Uh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today's match will be one to remember as Turkey takes the lead in starting the game. This certainly won't be an easy match for the home side, who are going to be taking on the Brazil team in a sport that the South Americans have come to dominate over the last couple of years. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Oh, uh, excuse me. No problem. I wonder, could you tell us where we can find a boat to rent for the day? No. Uh, mm. No, of course. This is your lucky day. I have one right here, and it's going for a great price. How much? It is free if you take it right now and have it back before sundown. It's a special offer if you take it right now. Like right now, now, like now, now, now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> ah, this is just what I needed. A relaxing day out on the water. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are all the smuggled animals hidden? Animals? What animals? I'm afraid you've been misinformed, officers. <laughs> this is for the sea turtles. I read online it's their favorite food. See? It's too bad. I wonder where the giant sea turtles are hiding. We told you there's no such thing, Obeyed. Those are only stories. But, uh... It's like Mansoor told you. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Can I try driving the boat? Do you know how to drive it? <laughs> I watched a tutorial. <laughs> The water's great. We should do some snorkeling. Are you sure you don't want to come with us, Obeyed? I'll just keep an eye on the boat. <laughs> hey, Obeyed, if I happen to miss it, say hello to the giant sea turtle for me. <clears throat> Calling all boats on the Jetta coast. Uh -huh. A famous animal smuggler was arrested earlier today in the docks, but the whereabouts of his boat remain unknown. The boat's registration number is 77. Approach with extreme caution. Oh no. Huh? But why did he say to approach with extreme caution? Huh? Huh? Hey, stop it! Go away! Go! Go! Fire extinguisher! Oh, right! There it is! Huh. Oh, well, how do I use it? Uh, there must be a manual around here somewhere. No, no! Uh, no! Uh, oh, okay. Easy. Whoa. No! Couldn't be. Was that a leopard? Strawberry is my last hope for help. After this, the sea will take over. Obeyed! We've only been gone half an hour! What happened? The boat! It's sinking! It's been burned! Um, and there's an unfriendly leopard behind us! Suddenly, the day doesn't seem so relaxing anymore. Anyway, this is 
the only thing that is going to help us get back to land. You aren't seriously still waiting for the giant sea turtle, are you? Obey, giant sea turtles don't even exist. They're just a myth. We need to figure out a realistic way to get ourselves out of here. Hey, guys, look there. Listen, even if giant sea turtles did exist, how useful would they be now? I mean, I'm not sure which is worse, drowning or being eaten by a leopard. Or missing out on the free ride, because we are never going to get this boat back on time. <laughs> Giant sea turtles were real, just look. Hey guys, uh -huh. look there! Stay where you are. We're approaching now. I think a congratulations are in order. Uh huh? You found the smuggler's boat. The, the smuggler? smuggler? Yes. Uh -huh. And as you can see, mm -hmm. the leopard he was smuggling oh. is safe and sound. Well, guys, I did tell you that it was a long story. Oh, babe! <gasps> Catch him! Uh huh? Hey, guys, I just had the weirdest dream. So I was stranded on a boat and... <laughs> that wasn't a dream. Not even when it caught fire? Nah. And the leopard? Nope. What about Ferris Allwood? That can't have been real. I'm afraid so. It was awesome meeting all you boys, but your idea of a relaxing afternoon is a bit too much for me. I don't think I'll be able to take a day off again soon. Also, Nano had done so well commentating on the tournament that my phone hasn't stopped ringing since we got back. Yeah, Nano! <laughs> <laughs> You, Grandpa, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Salem, huh? obey. Huh. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, science project homework. Scene one, take one. Action! Let's investigate the different properties of solids, liquids, and gases. Terrific idea. Take a look at all these liquids here. They can either flow or pour like this. But they're not that easy to hold, though. No, sir. It's quite impossible. Solids keep their shape. They do not flow like liquids. They serve their own purpose. That's right. And look over there. If you were to heat up a liquid, it can turn into a gas. Hmm. And cooling a liquid can turn it into a solid. Isn't science just so fascinating? Elementary, my dear Obeyed. Cut. Brilliant! <laughs> well done, everyone! Our science project is complete! <laughs> huh? What's that? It's called acting. No, not that. I mean that! What's she up to? I have no idea. But she's trying not to be seen. Hmm. Mm hmm? <laughs> it's a riddle that must be solved. Elementary, my dear Mansoor. The case of the mysterious cousin. <laughs> huh? Oh, huh? there's our culprit now. Look. 
We must follow her at once. There! <laughs> See any clues? Not a single one. Let's look over here. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, Shama, uh, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> yeah, um, listen, I've got to go. See you later. Mmm, the plot thickens like clam chowder soup. The case of the mysterious cousin becomes more mysterious. Come on, let's see where she's going. I think she saw us! Quickly! In here! In here! She'll never recognize us now! Let's go! What's in that package? That's a picture frame for sure. I wonder who she's talking to. Maybe... Her partner is a criminal mastermind. Yeah, that is the only logical explanation. Oh, ah, here they come right now. It's your uncle and auntie. Are they criminal masterminds we're dealing with? I didn't think they were, but we gotta find out for certain. What do you think is in that box? I bet it's a big pile of money or jewelry. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, huh? Uh, our bed. Quick, they're getting away. What does the evidence tell us, my dear Obeyed? Well, I'll tell you. The culprit is parked near the exit. For a quick and easy getaway, they're more cunning than we expected. A fine deduction. But what do you suppose Shama's doing there? Probably finding the most expensive, most rare piece of art to run off with. So let's go and catch her red-handed like the criminal she is. Huh? Where has she gone? Right there. Oh. She got away. She is a most devious foe. Don't you worry. We will find her. Come on, detective friends. Let's go this way. Huh? What's going on? It's probably just a fire alarm test. Or perhaps there's a robbery going on. No way. She couldn't possibly have done this. Of course not. We're just having a bit of fun. We don't really think that Shama stole a painting, do we? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, guys, you need to look at this. Nano, can you identify this picture, please? It is the morning sunrise, a very valuable painting, currently being displayed in the City Art Museum. Currently being stolen from the City Art Museum. Thanks so much, Nano. Listen, I don't believe Shama really took the painting, so let's do some real detective work. If the picture is still here, we know Shama didn't take it. That makes sense. Let's go. According to this, the morning sunrise painting should be right over there. What on earth? Oh, she actually took it. I can't believe it. There's no way. This just got really serious, you guys. <gasps> no! Impossible. But look at the evidence. She acted suspiciously in your garden. 
She was acting so weird in the mall. And the alarms went off. And Shama totally left with the painting. Yeah, and now it's not here. No, there must be a logical explanation for this. There is! Your cousin and her family are art thieves! We gotta tell the police! No! I need to speak to her first. Hello? Hey there, Shama. How are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, good, thanks for asking. Did you do the homework? Of course. It was good seeing you at the mall. Oh, I didn't see oh, you. Oh, that's okay. I understand that you were in a rush. Yeah. What else have you been up to? Just got home after You shopping. just went home? Bye. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, I'll see you at my house later for dinner, yeah. See you soon. Okay, then, bye for now. All right, bye. I don't believe it. Shama actually stole it! A priceless masterpiece from the museum! And to think she's going to put that beautiful painting in the cheap gold frame from a stinky old mall! Wait, she's coming to your house for dinner later? Yeah. What are you going to do? I guess I'll have to confront them. And I need you two there. Take a seat, fellas. Mansoor, I'll be away on holiday next week, so I won't be around for your birthday. But I still wanted to get you a present. Um, thank you. I've shown it to everyone, and they think it's great. Your entire family is in on this. It wasn't easy to get, though. I couldn't find it in the mall, so instead I had to go somewhere else. <laughs> so happy birthday, Mansoor! You may not want to show this. You might want to keep it private. Mm hmm Thank you, Shama. Thank you. Mm. <gasps> huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? The three of you are the worst detectives ever, you know that? <laughs> uh, I don't understand, Shama. Let me explain this to you. Okay, so I went to the mall so I could get you the frame that you're holding. And then I went to the art museum to get you this print of a beautiful morning sunrise. Mm. But I saw you three running around in those silly beards. I didn't think you had seen us. How could I miss you guys? I mean, really. But then how do you explain this morning in the garden? You were filming something, and I didn't want to ruin your shot. What about the alarms? And the missing painting? The painting was removed to be cleaned, but they accidentally set the alarms off. Nothing nefarious going on there. It was on the front page of the newspaper, you know. I'm sorry, Shama. You really thought the evidence was overwhelming. <laughs> the evidence is overwhelming that you three are crazy. What about the box full of money and jewelry? Someone explained that to me. Huh? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you jumped to the wrong conclusions. What do you got to say about that? Uh, who would like some cake? <laughs> 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 Obeda has been reading ancient tales about magic carpets. So listen, how cool would it be if we created a magic carpet of our own for real, Mansoor? Stop messing around. Can't you see I'm busy? You do like aerospace engineering. Do you think you can make this fly? Whoa. It would make a good science project. <sighs> a good science huh? project? You bring me a fairy tale and talk about science? Let me get back to my work.
Now wake up! Clear the way, stranger! You fell asleep on the road! Huh? Did we get here? Salem, what's going on here? Who's Salem? Huh? Um. Don't be so silly, Salem. Huh? Can I have some of that bread? Um. That'll be three coins. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me look in my bag and see if I've got that. <laughs> Hello there, Mentor. Uh, sorcerer. <laughs> It's okay. Look, Salem, it's just Nano. But look, I don't have any coins. I've got no money. A sorcerer and a thief. Huh? Huh? Mm. huh? Hey! Make way, everyone, for the Great Sultan! a magic carpet for me. A magic carpet? Wait, but I don't know anything about magic carpets. But I just saw you fly that one all around my kingdom. You can have it if you like it so much. No. You shall come over to my palace, and you will work only with the finest of my Persian carpets. But I can't make a carpet fly. No one can. At least I don't think so. Yes, he can. <laughs> Who can? Him. I've seen his magic. Huh? Take him to the palace dungeon. Uh, huh? You know what? Take them all away. What? Huh? Listen to me carefully. You three must make me the best flying carpet in the land or else. Uh, uh, make that carpet fly or else. You have until this evening to make it work. Lock the door. Now fly like an eagle and soar like a pigeon. Wings of a... I implore you, rise. You'll never be able to make it fly like that, Obeyed. Who's Obeyed? Who are you talking to, strange one? I'm talking to you. Oh, never mind. It's nothing. Stop talking to that carpet. It's not going to do you good. It's crazy. Well, at least he's trying unlike you. You haven't done a thing, magician. I'm not a magician. I'm an engineer and inventor. But you have magic in your bag there. What I have is Nano in my bag. He's not magic. He's just a robot. Let me show you guys, okay? <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> ah, it's magic! It's magic! <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> Grandpa! No, I'm just the dungeon master. Oh, the thing is, I'm gonna need some things. I'm gonna make the carpet fly for the Sultan. I'll need your help. What do you need? That table, some string, some wire, uh, a hammer, some nails, uh, and a saw, please. Would you also like four of those big wing-like fans that keep the Sultan cool when it's hot? Hmm? That would be great. Thank you. All 
right, guys. Time to build a real flying carpet. We're gonna show that Sultan a magic carpet, and then we're all gonna escape on it! Just... Hey! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. I was told that the three of you will perish, whether you succeed on your quest or not. Uh. Mm. Mm. Do you think that you can get us out of here, Shama? Address me properly. I am the Princess Shama. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Your Highness. Allow me to correct my grave error. Can you help us, Princess Shama? That is exactly why I'm here, prisoner. We need to get this up there. After that. Hey. Don't let them escape. Hurry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. How very clumsy of me. <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Come on, guys! The guards are right behind us! Hurry! Hurry up! Quickly, quickly! They're here, they're here! Come on, hurry up! There they are! Falling to their doom. Mansoor, Mansoor, time to wake up, Mansoor. Uh, it's okay, Mansoor, you had a bad uh, dream. It was the strangest thing. You wouldn't believe it if I told you, Grandpa. Well, Mansoor, you can tell me about it later because right outside, you've got two guests in the garden. Salem and Obeyed? We've got a magic carpet to make. The whole kingdom is at stake.
Thala. After you. You first. I insist. Uh, obeyed? I know what you're trying to do here. I won't do it. I won't fall for it. I refuse to be the first person to go through that door. <sighs> How much time do we have left? We just need to make it through chemistry and then recess. Then it's finally class photo time. <sighs> I hate class photos. Oh, me too. But no matter what, the picture has to come out good this time. My mom's going to be so mad if it goes anything like last <gasps> year's. My mother will be furious, so no experiments. We need to stay clean the whole time. Okay, then. So tell me how we're gonna make it through that corridor. Let's do this. Carefully, you guys. You never know when. Walid will show oh, up. Oh, oh, Mansoor. Long time we'll see. Catch this. Oh. As I was just explaining, I'm almost finished creating my latest invention. It's a new UV protection sunscreen that is also a source of vitamin D. Therefore, it's actually good for your skin. Look at me. It smells so nice. Can we have some, Teach? When the tests have all been finalized, you can all have some if you like. Uh, I can't remember the last time I smelled something so nice. Well... Can you? No. How about you, can you? Uh, can I what? What? Thank you, boys. That brings us to another important point in today's lesson about vitamin D. Recent studies have shown that vitamin D can be really good for your memory. After you. Oh, no, not this again. We can always stay here and help him out with the experiment, right? You can come back after the break to help me with the packaging. Now run along. Mm hmm Oh, what a mess. Yeah, this is what a school hallway should look like. Aw, why is everything dirtier when you're trying to stay clean? We can't sit down now because of it. We'll just have to wait instead. <sighs> We can't play football. And we can't eat lunch either. Ugh. I hate school photo day. It's photo time. Now there's lots of photos that need to be taken, so we'll start with individual photos, then move on to the class photos. Oh, finally. Please listen for your name and come straight to the photographer's room when you are called. We're starting with Ahmed Osama. Uh -huh. mm. 
I'm at Butter. I'm at Tamer. I'm at Joma. I'm at Hassan. I'm at Hussein. I'm at Omir. I'm at Ghanem. This will take a while. Let's get back to Mr. Ali. Huh? Oh, man, he's gone! That's strange. You know it's not like Mr. Ali to abandon an experiment or leave it undetended. And he hasn't used the packaging. Something's not right. We have to investigate this, guys. What we should be doing is getting our photos taken. We have time. Come on! <laughs> there you are. We were looking all over for you, Mr. Ali. Hmm? Whoa! Uh, I think you have something on your... Oh, uh, yes. It seems there are some unforeseen side effects to the cream. But not to worry. It's not permanent. Mm, I don't think. But if the cream did that to you, then it must have done the same to... <gasps> what? No. Really? You're kidding. My picture's in ten minutes! Jasim! Jasim Abdallah! Uh, actually, uh, it's probably... <sighs> it's okay, relax. It's going to be all right. I've made some calculations, and all I need now is some of the cream from the lab to dilute with another chemical, and it will reverse the effects immediately. So you mean you don't have the cream? Nope. I left it in the lab. Do you want to tell him, or should I? The cream is gone. We need to find it. And fast! So where do we start? Galil Ahmad. Hey, guys. Have you seen Mr. Ali's cream? The jar is missing. What? Uh, what cream? You know the one from chemistry class. Uh, uh do you remember? No, not, not at all, really. The one with the nice smell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the, 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 the nice smelling really one. Yeah, nice. I really like it. Oh, oh, no, no. It's gone missing. Do you have it? Uh, us? Yes. You guys. No, no, we have nothing. Uh, no, nothing at all. Hmm. Oh, that cream. Uh, I remember now. It smells so nice. Yeah, lots of vitamin D. Uh, it's good for the memory, <laughs> right? Hmm, right. But really, this cream won't exactly help for that. Also, sunlight, uh, and fish oil. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for the cream, guys. Can we go now? Rashid Ahmad. Rashid. Maybe you should move out of the shade for a bit, get a little bit of sun. Huh? It comes out to 1.98 grams. Mm, uh-huh. So then... Hmm. No idea. Just can't figure it out. Hmm. Obey! Oh, that's me! What am I going to do? Can you help? No, not straight away. Oh, I tried so hard to stay clean for this. Why does it always have to be me? I'm bad luck. Well, I don't think it looks that bad. Yeah, at least you're clean. Orange, but clean. Yeah, it's easy for you guys to say. You're not the ones going to be bright orange in the class photo. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We can do something.
obeyed? Sorry, Mansoor. I slipped. Obeyed? If this was really Treasures of the Desert, we would all be dead by now, you know. Treasures of the Desert? Part 2 launches today! And there are three free copies waiting for us somewhere in the city. We should get going. We're supposed to be at the mall at 9 a.m. sharp. Mm, just answer me this. Why did we climb out your window? Isn't there a better way to leave? It's because we are treasure hunters from ancient Baghdad. Yeah, and treasure hunters don't use the front door. Gotcha. We are treasure hunters. Woo! Uh, I'm okay. It's closed! You guys here for the treasure hunt? Hello! Do you have any clues or a map or something? Nope. It doesn't work like that. It's top secret, you see. Top secret? You mean even you don't know where the games are? You got it. Here. You need to use these codes in order to register your phones with the game. Game? Yeah. It's a publicity stunt. Once you register, they'll start sending you clues about it, and each clue will get you closer to the game. Awesome! Now we are treasure hunters, you guys! Hey, it worked! Follow Polaris. To the Great Eagle. Huh? What does that mean? Like I said, top secret, okay? Good luck. I'm pretty sure the Polaris they talk about is a star. Hmm, the North Star. My grandfather says sailors use it to navigate through the ocean. And the Great Eagle? Another star? I don't know. Okay, so let's just go north then and see wherever it takes us. Come on! Yeah, sounds like a good plan. See ya! Are you sure we are going the right way? We should be going north. But we're going downhill. Right, says the geography genius. Look, the sun is on our right. And it always rises in the east. Never mind. What can I say? I'm a treasure hunter, not a sailor. And sometimes I like to bird watch. Look there. Nice. The Great Eagle. Why, of course. That's my mom's sculpture. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so what now? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think the app must link to a GPS that's in our phones to track our location. So it knows when we've cracked a clue. The eagle is wise. Ask it, and it will lead you to the right path that you must take. What's up, huh? nerds? Ugh, Tarek. Hmm. I'm surprised you got this far. I guess they're smarter than they look. They have a brain cell or two. They're not smart. They just followed us. Right, Jamal? <laughs> yup, you're right. We're not smart at all, you bet. And if you're smart, you'll give us the next clue of the game, Mansoor. We haven't cracked it yet. The clue says, ask it and it will lead you. We have to ask the sculpture. Go right ahead, Obeid. Oh, wise eagle. Tell us which way we should go, pretty please. <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Obeyed's talking to a statue! Oh! Obeyed, you're a genius! You did it! What's all this gibberish? Doc, Meth, O. Ajira, Olel, Loom, Dejklum, Noom, Al, Net, Git, Tiet. What language is that? It's not a language, it's a code! Fooled you! Return to the mall! Of course! They just rearranged the letters! No wonder we had no clue what it was. <laughs> Much obliged, Salem. See you guys. <laughs> Bye, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we have to catch them. Wait, there's no rush. Look, I only gave them half the message. The rest of it says side entrance. Good thinking, Salem. Okay, we've got to play it cool or every kid will be following us. <laughs> hey, Mansoor. Thanks for all your help with those clues. Sorry to say we won't be sharing our prize with you losers. Yeah, you got us, Tarek. 
fair and square. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Come on. The door's locked. Shalem, are you sure about that clue? The treasure you seek lies beneath your feet. Lies beneath your feet. Lies beneath your feet. Feet! Huh? Could be the feet of a chair. Think uh. harder, Obeyed. Think, think! Or it could be our feet, guys. Mm -hmm. Ha-ha! <laughs> a key! Yeah! <sighs> We're in! Oh, man, I'm so excited that I can't even look! It's so close! Oh, it's a trap! Somebody help! I don't like this game anymore, guys! Hang on! Here's a light switch! But there's nothing in here! I don't understand! Huh? It's just a bunch of junk here! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Awesome! Uh, where are the games? We haven't gotten a text in ages. I wonder where Mansoor is. Someone went to a lot of trouble with this game. Uh, are we sure that this is even a game? <laughs> Welcome to Zazura. Your treasures await. Uh, uh, this is getting kind of spooky. So what? Or where is Zazura? Mm -hmm. It's been dark down there. I can't see a thing. Here, let's use this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Obeyed, can you just not touch anything anymore? Sorry. No way, a real treasure chest. Huh? It doesn't even work. Wait a sec. Let me have a look. Wow, it's a black light. Huh? Black light? What's that? A black light can light up certain colors that are invisible in normal light. Let's see what we can find with this. Ooh. Look! It's a secret message. Through here are great treasures. I can't see a handle. Or any hinges. It definitely says through here. So there must be a way through. And there's no way out, except from the door where we came from. Mm, it says through here, but... Mm, the word here is underlined, and none of the other words are. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh! 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 What did you do? I don't know. Obeyed. <laughs> this whole thing is fake. Just look. Hmm. Oh! It's made of rubber. They are. Look. <laughs> And cut. Uh -huh. Welcome to Zerzura, boys. We're glad you made it. Right. Zerzura. It's the name of the new game store. We won! We won! <laughs> we won! You are our first official customers. Congratulations. Hmm. Whoa! This is awesome! Look at all this stuff! Honestly, that was way more fun than shopping, you guys. Look over there! It's the Goon Squad! <laughs> Keep looking, guys! I'm sure the more you look, you'll find some treasure eventually! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Everyone, please behave and stay together. But most importantly, do not touch anything that you're not supposed to. Understood? Yes, Mr. Ali. All right, then. Let's proceed. Today, we'll be looking at some of the flora and fauna of the Jurassic era. In other words, dinosaurs. That's right, Mansoor. The dinosaurs ruled the Earth until about 66 million years ago. There's a brand new exhibit in here, a robotic dinosaur. Oh, cool. What kind is it? T-Rex, a life-size one. What are we waiting for? Let's see it. Look, guys, a Stegosaurus. That's my favorite kind. And over <laughs> there, everyone, you can see the mighty Triceratops. Kind of looks like a rhino. Correct. Although perhaps three times the size, ferocious looking, but they only ever ate plants and greens. Huh? It's basically an armored cow. <laughs> Indeed. The armor protected the Triceratops from most of its predators, but not all of them. The T-Rex? <laughs> yes, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the tyrant lizards. We'll go see it now. Come on. <laughs> the robot T-Rex. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was the largest meat-eating dinosaur of the Jurassic period, and perhaps the most ferocious predator to ever walk planet Earth. Ta-da! Wow! Whoa! 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 Is that a dinosaur? <gasps> yes, he is. He's 40 feet long and weighing in at just over seven tons. You don't want to meet this guy when he's hungry. Now, let's wake him up, shall we? <gasps> Whoa, that's awesome! Some of those teeth are five inches long. Once he got hold of you, he wouldn't let go. Luckily, these teeth are just made of rubber. How fast could the T-Rex run, sir? We don't know for sure. But we reckon he was incredibly fast. Let us have a look at those legs in action. Whoa! Hmm. Uh, looks like we're having technical problems. Uh, this I'll way, need a technician. we can come back later when they've fixed it. Look at this thing! It looks so real! Well, except for this hatch on the side. Huh? It's a loose wire! Huh? That's why the robot shut down. Hey, kid, don't touch that! But if we can connect the wires, we can fix it! Back off, kid. I'll do the fixing here. It's very simple. Just connect the colors to each other. Red wire to red wire, and the blue to blue. Keep out of it, busybody. I know what I'm doing. See? Fix it. <gasps> oh! oh, no!
I'm giving you two weeks of detention, uh, if you survive. Uh, Mansoor, what's the plan? I'll tell you as soon as I think of one. Uh, it's really fast, too fast. We need some eyes in the sky. Go find Obey. To the park! Let's go, Salem! and stop it before it can hurt anyone. What? How? I don't know yet. But if we don't stop it before it gets to the city, we're in really big trouble. So come on. Well, I think we're in big trouble already. The police are coming! There must be some way to disable this thing. It must have an off switch somewhere. Yes, that's it! Nano! Store your scanning mode, please! <laughs> there it is! Look here! The switch is on the inside! All right! That's convenient! I'm just kidding, it's not! We must find a way to get in and switch it off! Over here! Salem, you hold this end. Obeyed, you take the other end to the tree that's right over there. So, what's the plan? You guys will wait right here while I try luring the robot over. When I get past this spot, pull the rope tight. Okay, Mansoor. Good luck. Good luck. Hey! Over here, you big rust bucket! Hey! Hey! Over here! You guys, get ready! No, what did your robot do to my student? What's taking him so long? <laughs> you did it, Mansoor! He did what? Where's Mansoor? Hey! <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You boys are in a lot of trouble. Mm -mm. Huh? I think it is you who is in trouble, young man. Huh? Your dinosaur ate one of my students. 
All thanks to your meddling. That's right. You're lucky nobody got seriously hurt. He has a point. Now I suggest you thank these kids for helping to stop your robot. These kids are heroes. Uh, well, well, I'm very sorry. Uh, please feel free to visit the museum anytime you want, free of charge. Yeah! Yeah! I would really like to get a photo. Mr. Ali, will you? We'll bring him out very soon. But things can take a little longer with Sultan. Why, Father? Because Sultan's autistic, which means he sees, he hears, and feels the world differently than others. He's different than most people. How exactly? Well, he finds socializing and communicating very difficult. Oh, wow! I've never met an autistic person before. It's going to be so cool. What? Excuse me, but is your son going to be with us? No. Sultan will need a little bit of time to get used to you all being here, okay? Oh, I've brought something he might like. Oh, he adores boats. Here, if you kids go and play with this in the pool, Sultan might come out and join you. Go, give it a try. <laughs> I want to try first. No, I'll go first. <laughs> This works. Mm, the autistic voice should come play. He's got a name. Will he look like us or will he look... I wonder if he'll look different or funny. Who knows? You want to see something funny? Look at your reflection in the pool. What are you doing? Mm, nothing. He won't wait back at us. Maybe he doesn't care to. See? He's so rude. No, he's not rude, Obeyed. Uh, he's simply different. He is rude, because not saying hello back to someone is very rude. Well, I think sticking your tongue out at somebody is much ruder. Wait here. Hmm. Hello, you must be Sultan. I'm Ansor. I'm really sorry about my friend over there. He didn't mean it. Awesome, I've got some of these too. No. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wanna come play with the remote control boat? I've got a robot called Nano, look. Hello, Sultan. All right, it was nice to meet you. We'll be outside if you want to play with us, okay? Look at this really cool bow! It's so fun to play with! Oh, 
strange. Oh, that was impressive. Here it says autistic people can develop a highly specific interest in a particular subject. I guess Sultan's particular subject is boats. That's interesting. Oh, huh? Whoa! Oh, hey! <laughs> Preparing for takeoff. Okay, who wants to go for a ride in my speedboat? Yes! <laughs> uh, uh, what happened? Uh, Sultan doesn't like loud sounds. And you three can uh, be very loud. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, let's go for a ride. Oh, oh. Here we are. Huh? <laughs> who wants to go on this? Want to go fast or slow? Fast for us, please. Mm. Hold on! Oh, hey. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! That was amazing! That was terrifying. It's your turn now. Uh, hold on. Ready? <laughs> <Whoa -hoo! laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready! The cable. The cable. Huh? Huh? Oh. 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 Mansoor! Oh. 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 Well, this isn't good, but at least it can't get any worse, right? Mansoor, quick! Hello, Mansoor! Nano, it's so good to see you! Please send the others my coordinates as fast as you can! All done. They're on their way to get you right now. Well, I really hope they hurry! <laughs> Thanks a lot for saving me. Is that normal? That storm is coming in fast. We need to get back to the shore. Ah. Don't worry, we'll be home very soon. These are for you. They're noise canceling. They'll make things nice and quiet. They should help. Mayday! Mayday! Let's hurry and get out of here! A 
SOS. SOS. What's he doing? There. SOS. There! Thank you again for rescuing me out there today. You are all so brave. And an extra special thanks to you. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Well, all right, everyone. Uh -huh. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'd better go too. Oh, wow, what a day. Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. I did not enjoy that awful storm. I'm very glad Sultan's knowledge and skill managed to save us. Oh, don't forget your headphones. No, don't worry. Sultan can keep the headphones. I think he'll get more use out of them than I will. Well, that's very kind. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sultan. Hmm? Hmm? Tell them. Mm -hmm. Sultan says you all have to come back again for another great adventure. We will. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> We will now learn a special brand new move. It's called the Pouncing Cat. Okay? Mm. This is how it's done, guys. Salam, it's your turn now. Very good, Salam. Now your turn, Obaid. You got this. All right. Good try, Obaid. But you still need to practice. Mansur, you're up now. <laughs> Good attempt there, Mansur. But you must keep practicing. That was less of a pouncing cat and more like a blind kitten. I'll keep practicing, and soon it'll be the amazing cat. Oh, yes, I hear you. You're a beautiful cat. Thank you for agreeing to look after Falafel in my absence, Shama. It's my pleasure, Auntie. Not a problem. Falafel won't cause you any trouble, but she shouldn't be left alone. Okie dokie, Auntie. I promise to make sure she won't be. She's quiet and doesn't like adventure. Oh, right. There's something peculiar about Falafel. The only thing she eats is cake. Cake? But she's a cat. Well, she only eats cake. Don't be scared, Falafel. I will take good care of you. <coughs> huh? No, no! Falafel, be careful! <sighs> no! Falafel! Falafel, stop that! <coughs> You're one naughty cat, I tell ya! Falafel! Huh? Mansur, when you're ready, try the pouncing cat move, okay? Good move, Salem. Good move. Over here, Falafel! Come here, Falafel! Falafel! You're one naughty cat! Come on, Falafel, let's go back inside! Haven't you had enough fun? Uh, hello, Shama! You what? You lost Falafel? 
Well, of course we'll help you. Did I just hear you say she lost her falafel? Now, wait a second here. Why doesn't she just get a new falafel from the shop? She didn't lose a falafel. She lost her auntie's cat named Falafel. Now that that's cleared up, let's go and help Shama get that cat back. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You guys are awesome. I'd only been looking after Falafel for about two minutes before she ran off. Don't you worry. We'll find her, no sweat. Where did you last see her? She jumped over that wall there. I think I see her. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Falafel. We're gonna have to climb that to get to her. I'll do it, no problem. Cats just like me. Be careful, Baid. She might scratch you. You think so? Can someone help me up? Mm. Hello, children. My name is Abdullah. What's up? You okay? This is my building. We're sorry, but I've been looking after my auntie's cat, Falafel, and she happened to run away. We followed her across the city, and she came straight here. And where is she now? She's there, in there! Well, that was my helicopter, so I feel partially responsible for Falafel's welfare. We gotta get her back. But how? Your helicopter just flew away. My black helicopter's flown away, but my red one's still here. We're good. Where? Huh? Whoa. Now oh. let's get your falafel. Please follow that cat. I never thought I'd ever say that to a helicopter pilot, today or any day for that matter. Helicopter 3, Helicopter 3, this is Helicopter 5. You have a four-legged furry stowaway on board. Do you copy? Do you copy, please? Copy, return to the office. My auntie will be back at my house soon. I don't know how we're going to get back in time. Helicopter 3, Helicopter 3, do you copy? Change of plans. We have a new destination. Just follow us. We've got about five minutes before my auntie comes back. Huh? Um. Hey, 
looks like our training finally paid off. You use the pouncing cat to catch a pouncing cat. Well done. Well done, all of you. Now I gotta go. I've got a radio interview. Goodbye now, Falafel. Thank you so much for all your help. You're so kind. Yes, I am so grateful. Oh man, my pleasure. Now you know what to do. Put that cat back before your auntie comes home. Hey! She must be hungry. We gotta get her some cake. Cake? I don't think cats eat cake. Yeah, but this one is different. That's why she's been acting so naughty. She hasn't been eating properly. Come on, let's get her home already. Did you miss me? I'm sure you've been good to Shama. I hope everything was all right with Falafel. She didn't tire you out, did she? Mm, no, she was a bit, um, naughty, I think is the word. Well, she seems to be perfectly fine now. Look it. I think that's because we gave her some fish, not cake. Wait a second, but she loves cake. Yeah, I don't think it's very healthy. And I don't mean to contradict you, Auntie, but look at her. She looks so much happier now, don't you think? Yes, she does look very happy. Okay, that's it. No more cake. Okay, we better be going. Thank you so much for looking after her. I just heard a man on the radio talking about having a cat hanging out in his helicopter. You don't know anything about that, do you, Falafel? Imagine for a moment that Falafel had the ability to talk. Your aunt wouldn't believe what happened. Oh, oh I, mean, I still can't believe it myself. <laughs> Flight one bit. Don't worry, Obeyed. My dad's the pilot. We're in safe hands. It'll be okay. Attention all passengers. This is your captain. Please don't be concerned. We're experiencing some stormy weather, but we're still on course. However, make sure you're seated and you fasten your seatbelt. Hear that, Obeyed? I told you there's nothing to worry about. Uh. Uh. This is your captain. It appears the weather has intensified. We're making an emergency landing for safety checks and a possible repair. How's it going up there? What did that even happen? Who cares? Just hand me the wrench away. Wow, Dad! You did a great job landing in that storm! Thank you. I hope you weren't too scared. No. <laughs> well, the plane needs a few more hours for some repairs. You guys can go and explore the island. But hey, don't go too far. I promise you we won't. Thanks, okay, Dad. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. You you have fun. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey guys, how about we swing from here? You go first. It's your turn, Solemn. Obeyed? Mm, no way. Thank you. Come on, Obey. 
Hey, don't be scared. You can do this. It's really awesome. Try it. No, I'm good. Thank you. If you don't swing, Obeyed, you'll have to swim to get over here. Huh? Up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not funny at all. <laughs> but you are the world's most accident prone person I've ever known. No, I'm not. I'm just. Huh? 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 Whoa! Uh, uh, hey guys! Uh, hey guys! Come look! You gotta see this! Obeyed, stop fooling around! I'm not fooling uh, around, but the view is amazing! Come on! Come have a look! Are you okay, Nano? I'm doing great, Metzor. Don't you worry. Where do you think this tunnel will take us? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We're gonna have to explore it ourselves, you guys. That's a good idea. We'll follow your lead. Oh, wow! Would you look at that? Oh! Wow! <laughs> Wow! Can you believe it? A real lost temple! Oh, oh gosh! It's so dark in there, how will we see? Well, let's find out! After you, you go first! Ooh, uh, I can't believe uh, it! Uh, they have treasure down here! Quickly, let's uh, hide! Come on! Hmm. Okay. Who do you think they are? Come on, come on. We need to go and get the rest. I think those men are some kind of thieves. They're stealing everything in there. We're gonna have to stop them. What they're doing is wrong. How on earth will we stop them, though? Mm. Come here. Help me. With this, they'll think the temple is haunted. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Hmm. No. no. It didn't work. What about we go back to the plane and pretend this never happened? No, <laughs> Obeyed, we can't yet. Those thieves are stealing all the treasure and it's not theirs to take. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sure this will scare them away. <laughs> Ooh, look there. I'm making some acting. You're right. And a fine specimen at that. Mm -mm. There you go. Huh? Uh, 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 well, that didn't work either. So, how are we going to stop them now? Nano! <laughs> and some of these torches. Plus a large amount of mud, guys. Mud, you say? Yeah, yeah, trust me, come on. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? 
Who below has dared to enter the temple? Those things don't belong to you! How dare you take them from us? You must leave our temple at once! Well done, everyone. We saved the treasures of the temple. Aha! And the thieves will never come back here again. Okay, now we can get back to the plane. After we clean off first. I can't wait to tell Dad about everything that happened. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm glad you got back safely. Why? What happened, Dad? Well, these archaeologists here... They're the archaeologists? archaeologists? Yes, those archaeologists from the museum, they had a terrible accident. Huh? Really? Yeah. They were in one of the oldest temples around. I mean, we thought it was just a myth, but it appeared to be real. Just like they said, the stories were true. Yeah. And the temple was full of beautiful antiques. They belong to a museum. We also have a license that permits us to take those antiques for educational purposes. But we found out that the temple is haunted. We saw these creatures of mud, three of them, and a small creature that flies. Uh. Mm. Three creatures made of mud, huh? A small flying creature? Would you boys like to say something? Uh, um, I think there's been a misunderstanding. You know what, you guys? You three are the bravest temple guards I've ever met in the world. Thank you, and we apologize for scaring you. Imagine if those beautiful antiques from that temple never made it to a museum because of three muddy boys pretending to be ghosts. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,